you're this perp back with another video and i just got out of watching boy kills world this is starring bill skarsgård he's our main character in this and i'm just gonna make this short and sweet because i feel like i just watched the best action movie of the year the plot of this movie is very simple it's a revenge plot you know what i'm saying it starts off as a typical revenge story where boy sees his family getting killed then he you know disappears for years and he is um going under the wing of this shaman to pretty much get trained and learn how to be a better fighter so he can take revenge on this character named hilda hilda is played by i forget her name but she always is going to be OG um, Jean Grey to me. And she has this whole organization that has taken over this one place. And now, you know, they're literally doing like live executions. You know, the whole family's in on it. They got like everything broken down to like the politics to the entertainment to just the street level stuff and they pretty much got a stranglehold on this area and every year hilda does like these calling games and stuff where they he just she just takes anybody she doesn't like and just kills them on live television on some hunger game shit but what i really like about this is bill scars uh bill scars guards character the boy the boy, he is pretty much deaf and he can't talk. So you hear his inner monologue and his inner monologue is done by the voice that did Bob from Bob's Burgers and like Archer. So there's definitely a lot of uh, humor in this movie. It's definitely over the top. The action sequences are really fucking dope, really fucking bloody, really gory, creative. The cinematography in this is very clean. It uses a lot of bright, vivid colors. And I like just the use of, you know, um, our main character, the boy, and just how he navigates through this world and tries to get his revenge. But also, there's also an interesting kind of spin on this. Like, he's seeing the ghost of his dead sister leading the way. And that's fascinating and just how they kind of utilize him trying to navigate without being able to hear you know what i'm saying he just kind of goes for it and there's a lot of times that he kind of messes up his own kind of planning but also there's people that are also tired of hilda's reign so without spoiling anything that's pretty much like the gist of this movie it's pretty much the boy just getting his revenge for um his family being killed but there's a lot more to that that i won't spoil because that third act was fucking dope and the shaman in this is played by um i forget old boy's name from the raid i just know him as mad dog and if you've ever seen the raid oh man i think you'll love this movie overall this was a very dope action movie I like this more than Monkey Man just because of the brutality and how dope the choreography was. It was very fast paced. You know, it, it almost gave me like an anime feel to it. Mixed with like what they were doing in the raid. That's exactly what it reminds me of. A lot of the hand to hand stuff reminds me of the raid and Bill Skarsgård just really did his thing in here where he didn't have to say a word and it works even with the inner monologuing stuff that was fucking brilliant and hilarious at times and the other characters that we meet along the way um you see an old boy from warrior he has a very important role in this as well and his interaction with bill skarsgård's character was really dope he brings a lot of humor into this as well and I liked everybody else that popped up in here. Um, old boy from Stranger Things. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Please forgive me. But everybody did a really dope job. They kept the story very simple. They didn't try to reinvent the wheel or anything. They were just saying, hey, we want to make a dope 
violence action movie and i feel like they really delivered with that and i would recommend checking this out if you haven't already but if you did get around to checking it out let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below till next time i'm out peace